This is the Seven Figure Agency Podcast. Discover the strategies and techniques to grow a highly successful and profitable digital marketing agency with your host, Josh Nelson. All right. Well, hey, welcome, everybody. Welcome to today's special session. We're going to talk all about the, the new social media platform that we've all been hearing about, um, Clubhouse. By invitation only, a very different take on social media. Um, I know I've been seeing it. Everybody, hey, can I get an invite? How yeah. do I get invited? Mm-hmm. Um, and when there's something new that comes out, it's it's always exciting. It's like, okay, there's some new thing. I want to know what's going on. Uh, but the first question you have to ask is, is it worth my time? And is there any feasible way that I could use this as a tool, right, to position our agency, mm-hmm. to land more clients, to grow our business? Um, mm-hmm. And I, I'm a little bit of a slow mover on that front. I'm like, you know, I want to see somebody else using it and getting results before I dive head first in. Um, And as you guys know, Dennis is always on the cutting edge of things and testing things out. Um, And I see him posting about Clubhouse and how it's working for him. And um, and so I thought, you know, who better to have on than than Dennis to come talk about Clubhouse, what it is, how to plug in and and what's working for him in terms of actually Mm -hmm. positioning and growing his agency. So Dennis, thank you so much for taking the time to, to join us on this session today. Welcome, Josh. And then welcome everybody here. I had the same reservations about Clubhouse too, just like I did when Facebook came on the scene 14 years ago with the ads platform. Because as you know, 20 years ago, I was a, or not Google, I was a Yahoo search engineer, right? As a search engine engineer. And I knew that websites was the way to drive sales for local companies. And because I jumped on Facebook early and it wasn't a fad, but all these other social networks were fads too, right? But how did I know it was only when I saw certain ingredients were in place that I realized it was something that was worth putting time into because look, I'm just like you, I'm busy. I have a team of people I'm managing. I've got a bunch of clients. I would like to sleep. I would like to be able to do all these. Like, where am I going to carve out this time for another social network? It seems like another fad. You know, how many of us here are making silly TikToks and dancing, right? And doing music. No, that's, that, is that growing your agency? Um, arguably, some people are succeeding, mostly selling other agencies on how they can you know, become successful on TikTok and Snapchat, and whatever. And, and so that's what I thought about Clubhouse as well until I realized this is the agency owner's number one business development tool. If you know how to speak, if you know how to build connections, if you've chosen a lighthouse, which is the category, right? It could be plumbing or chiropractors or whatever, and you have some kind of lead magnet. So I wanna show you what that means. And Clubhouse, I'd love to, to hear from you guys. Are you on Clubhouse? Do you, have the, do you have an iPhone, right? And did you get an invite? There's only 2 million people that are on Clubhouse. Let me know, right? Yes, give us a yes for the sake of, okay. So some yes is coming in there in chat. Yeah. And if you don't have an iPhone, they're working on the Android version. They won't say the date, but they're working on it, right? The team as of a month ago had only nine people in it. So it's a tiny little company. Only nine raised... people on the Clubhouse team. And it's like this, you know, world recognized platform already. Yeah, because of FOMO. It, technically, it's, it's been out there for a year, but really for most of us, it's been there a month. I've okay. only been there since January 1st. Wow. Yeah, they just got a billion dollar valuation from Andreessen Horowitz. So they have the money to do it right. But I don't want to talk about that part. I want to talk about what it means for agency owners, what to understand first about the platform and how it works. Because I, I didn't know anything until I made these mistakes. I want to save you these mistakes. And then we'll, we'll talk about what the future of it is for us as agency owners and for our clients. <clears throat> yeah, Tim, you're right. Time suck. I call it crack house. So check this out. I'm going to show you on my phone. You're not, not allowed to record, but I'll just show you what it looks like. So now I've opened a Clubhouse app. You go to join Clubhouse and you can see it here. And you see, I just got a notification that every time you get a notification, you know what drives that notification? It's when you, it's based on who you follow, right? And people, you'll see, people will ping me into a room because they want me to join. Cause that, you can see, I'll click on my profile here in the top right. So you can see that I have, was it 5,400, 5,500 followers? 5,400 followers. And uh, I'm, I'm yeah. following. 1600 people. And now I got a bio, this bio, you can make super long. There's almost no limit on what you can say with your bio. And then at the bottom, you get only two links. These are the, you see these two links, you get a link to your Twitter and a link to your Instagram. You want to absolutely maximize. Most people do not put this bio in here. So 
the first three lines are the most important part of your bio because that's what people see when you're in the room. So I said, built the analytics at Yahoo, instructor for the Digital CEO Podcast, systems builder, blitz metrics, and the co-founder of Cairo Revenue, right? So that's what people will see. And then everything else here, I talk about two main things, what I can provide value on and then what I want. So that's very different than what you typically see in a regular bio because, oh, I did this and I did that. That's what people see in their, in their bio. Oh, I spoke on this stage. That's great. But the two key things are what, what, in, or what you give and what you, can, what you want from other people. And the reason why that's so important is Clubhouse is where people are connecting and sharing value. It, because it's your voice, it's like, this is video. So you can see my face, which causes something to be different. And it's being pre-recorded or not pre-recorded, it's being recorded. So you could watch this on the replay. It creates a completely different dynamic where you can see this is live audio. So I'm gonna go into a room and I'll show you. So look at the name of this room here, Money Monday, how to create multiple income streams. So this is one of these millionaire, kind. they're all like millionaire kinds of things. Like look at this one, the round table, business leaders debate and it has the money bags here, here right? Look at mm -hmm. this and there's more of them entrepreneur millionaire secrets. Can you see that? Right? Yes, we see millionaire, it. this millionaire that, or just trust me that I'm reading what it is. Here's another one. It's in the group club. So this thing at the top, it says club money, master millionaire mindset, mastermind. And then the title of the room is millionaire mindset, health, wealth, and happiness secrets. Right? So clubhouse is built around the idea that there are these clubs. So the clubs are kind of like the sponsoring presenting you know, entities, and then you have rooms inside the clubs. Now you can start a club, or no, sorry, you can, you can start a room and not tie it to a club, but you're gonna find increasingly that that's very important that you need to start a club. And there's a way you can apply for a club. You have to show that you've run a room three times in a row, right, weekly, and it's manual approval. So they're not just allowing anyone to go in. So this is not like buying up all the domain names and things like that. You actually have to show that you've run that room. And the way you build a room is you can see here on this particular millionaire kind of group at the bottom, it shows there's 354 people in there. You see that? And then next to that, it shows that there are 22 people that are speaking, meaning there's moderators. Now look at who's in here. Tanner Chidester, Anthony Morrison, Adrian Mor Morrison, right? The Morrison brothers, they sell online courses. Forbes Riley, Lauren Tickner, Sean Vossler, Cole Hatter, like these are, the, the thing is I'm friends with actually most of these people here, right? So if you can see what's going on, the big room. So this, this room is about medium size. It's got 300 people. Some of these rooms you'll see have 2,000, 3,000 people. And you'll see some people, some of these rooms, like this one has 100 people in it. There's 107 and you can see there's 19 people that are speaking. Here's one Spice Nation with Kurt Walker. So there's 45 people in it and there's 17 that are speakers, All right? I'd love to hear from you guys that are on, are you on Clubhouse? Give, give me a yes or no. I want to see where you guys are at and see how far we can, we can go. Looks about half and half. Yes, no, okay. yes, yes. I think it's more like 70, 30, no, no okay. 70, 30, yes. And if you're watching on Facebook, give us a like if you're interested in hearing like what this is. And because most of us, Dennis, are, are like not even to the point of strategy. It's like, what is it? Yeah, how let's, does let's, it talk about, like, let's talk about what it is before we go into the mechanics. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I just skipped past all of that. So Clubhouse is a live audio platform. Think of it as because of COVID and all, we've not been able to get together to speak on stages, except maybe some, some small live events, right? The big events have gone away. So this is where the author speakers and coaches have wanted to hang out. And the initial people on Clubhouse, which is intentional, has been A-list celebrities. So imagine being able to hang out with these Hollywood types and then Grant Cardone or Gary Vaynerchuk or these other people look, this guy just pinged me into the room, right? Kurt Walker, he's one of the top people in the world of startup financing. He wants me to go to the room right now and become a speaker. And because of FOMA, I'm like, wow, I want to jump in because I know if I jump in, I'm going to meet these other people that are super successful. And from Clubhouse, because I've been in the room and Kurt will say, hey, my friend Dennis, you just joined the room. Dennis, tell everybody about you know, you're, and he'll say, Dennis is a, you know, an amazing marketer. He spent a billion dollars in Facebook ads, blah, blah, blah. He'll say all these amazing things. And he'll say it in a room with a couple hundred people in it. And he'll say, now, Dennis, we have some questions for you about, you know, search engine marketing. And then people will come up and it'll be a panel discussion. And from that, 
you'll generate a ton of leads, high quality leads of people that want to work with you, partnership kinds of deals, right? It's one of the most amazing places to build relationships that if any of you guys have paid for like a 50K mastermind, it's at that level. We're able to meet people and talk to them, but it's just your voice only. Recording is not allowed. If you try to record, it will say, ah, not you can, you'll get booted on the platform for trying to do this. And even if you're not as well known as some of these other people, you can still do this networking because you just have to, you know, add value just like you would on any other social network, be able to ask smart questions, be pulled up from the audience to be able to speak. Because there's an area the, by default, when you come into a room, you're in the audience, but then on the top, you have a bunch of people that are speakers. And then a subset of the speakers have a little green circle by them. And that means they're a moderator. <clears throat> and when I first got onto the platform, I thought, well, this is stupid. And it was Michael Stelzner. He created a room. Michael Stelzner is the number one guy in the world of social media marketing, right? He's, he runs the conference. He's got all that kind of, you know, he's, he's big. And he, he invited me to speak on Facebook ads. And there were maybe 300 people in the room who were business owners. And we were, all of us were sharing the very best expertise. It, it was me and Andrea Vall and him and a few of these other people. And I thought, I don't have time for this. I'll just pop in for 20 or 30 minutes and see what the whole clubhouse thing's all about. This is, this is just another fad social network. This is gonna come and go like all the other ones, like all the different Google properties that come and go. And then I realized, holy moly, two hours have gone by, four hours have gone by. And I'm thinking, Michael, I know that you have children. I know you have a business to run. I know, that in, but then all of a sudden Grant Cardone pops into the room. And well, he, we're not going to leave now because now Grant's there or now Russell Brunson comes into the room like, oh, wow. And then, and so that later that afternoon, I had such a good experience because of the, the people that were in and how spontaneous and how real the sharing was that I started my own room for the first time. And I thought, I don't, I don't know anything about Clubhouse. I'll just go ahead and start a room because Mike told me, hey, Dennis, you need to get on Clubhouse. And if Michael Stelzner tells me I need to do something, I'll do it because this guy knows What's a trend? What's going to be like, he's, he's so accurate in every, cause he does the research. And if he tells me this, then, then I'll trust him and I'll give it a shot. I started my room and I sat there and nobody came in and I'm like, okay, this is dumb. I'm going to leave another two or three minutes go by. Nobody comes like a couple people come in like, okay, this is lame. Um, Hey, random person. How are you doing? I guess it's just you and me in this room. And then all of a sudden 50 people came into the room and then 200 people were in my room. I didn't ping anyone into the room. I just sat there. I, I created a room. This is how you create a room, right? Look, look, at these people, look at these people that are pinging me, trying to get me to join their room, right? This, this is just incessant. So I came over here to this calendar here and you can see here that, that you can create, look, someone's even trying to call me right now. Isn't that crazy? I should probably turn this phone off. No, but that's how I want to show you what's, I'm literally showing you what's in Clubhouse. I can create, I can come here and create my own event and call it, my room, I can, you can see, I can put it under a club. I can say, I can literally call this club or this not club, the room hanging out with Josh Nelson. I can create a club. I can apply for one called seven figure agency. I can do all these kinds of things. And I found that, that this is the best way to be able to get any kind of question you want answered, any kind of topic you want, you can invite these other people to join. So yesterday, Larry Kim well, two days ago, Larry Kim, he's, he's the largest spender of Google ever on the planet, right? He had 2% of Google's ad spend. Wow. So if anybody who does PPC, you got, do you guys know who Larry Kim is? Give me a, give me a yes, just so I know like where you guys are, right? Dimitri does. Yeah, lots of yeses. Yeah, he founded WordStream. Dustin, yeah. Yeah, he did $80 million last year, which I'm not sure is public information, but anyway, he's very successful, okay? Like he, I think he has the, he's more than a seven-figure agency, if you will. Right. He's the biggest agency. Well, ever eight, figure, eight figure agency or more. Yeah. That's his profit. Right. <laughs> okay. So Larry hit me up and he said, Hey, what's this clubhouse thing? I'm like, well, it's pretty cool. You should check it out because he's big on all the other platforms too. Right. He's, his email list is 600,000. He's the most viewed profile on LinkedIn, even more than Obama was. Right. Wow. And so we, he says, Hey, let's set up a room. So we set up a clubhouse room and I set it up under one of the clubs that I'm an admin on which is Facebook marketing secrets. And immediately we had 220 people into the room. And then I saw other people that I know that are well known in the world of digital marketing. And I brought them up on the stage as a moderator. And then when those people came in, like Lauren Tickner, who I think has 20,000 followers, 
So when she joins our room, then it pings all of her followers and that causes more people to come into the room. And pretty soon you have this big room and me as a moderator, I have no idea what I'm doing because this platform's still brand new. And here, here's where it matters to other agency owners, for, for everyone else here. By, by the way, you don't have to do, I mentioned this with Larry Kim just to show you how new this platform is. There's only 2 million people on the platform. But I literally said, hey, who, who wants to do something with real estate? I've got a bunch of real estate agents. I've, I have friends of mine who own groups that have real estate agents in them. And we easily have 5,000 real estate agents in our group. Who wants to partner together on building an agency serving these real estate agents? And the people who are Tom Ferry coaches are coming and saying, hey, I'd love to do a live with you. I'd love to do a clubhouse or a Zoom with you. And I said, okay, that's great. I don't know anything about real estate agents, but I'd love to partner with, with some of you guys on that. Now, who can do PPC for real estate? Let me know, raise your hand, right? And then we'll bring them up onto the stage. And then I'll say, okay, now who knows how to do websites for real estate agents? Who, who knows how to do whatever it is? So I'm literally asking for the things that I want. And people are coming up on the stage because I've got some well-known people that are up on stage that have attracted a big audience. So I can literally source any kind of biz dev deal that I want, and I can source any kind of worker that I want. So think about how that fits in with your agency. Who is it that you want to attract more of? What kind of clients do you want? What kind of people do you want? What kind of partner do you want? I was in a room two weeks ago and they, it was a bunch of well-known people on stage. And by the way, it doesn't have to be a big room. The, the most powerful rooms are the mid-size, smaller rooms, like under hundred people. And I said, in front of 3,500 people, I said, I'm looking for project managers. We're hiring people. Do you know of somebody who wants a project management job working at Cairo Revenue? Because we, we're, you know, we have 73 clients and we don't have enough people to service all the clients. We, can take, we can't take on any more clients because we don't have enough people, which is a shame because there's lots and lots of chiropractors that want to sign up for Cairo Revenue, but we just need more people and we need more project managers and whatnot. And we had a whole bunch of people hit me up. Here, I'll show you. Be because you saw the only way to connect is on Instagram and Twitter directly for links, or you give them an email address or website. <clears throat> if you go to my Instagram and you look at the number of people that are messaging me, Look at all these people that are messaging me saying, hey, I saw that you mentioned on Clubhouse that you're hiring. Hey, I'm a project manager. Hey, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I want to learn. I want to go through your digital marketing training so I can make a side income learning how to project manage. And like, this is great. This is great. And I, I have VAs respond to this and giving these people training, right? So that way I'm able to, to try to absorb the load of what's coming in. And I think this is fantastic for you guys. Now, maybe you've not started a room. Maybe you're not as well known as... Josh Nelson, right? But I see, because the platform's so new, that it is easy for anyone to get access to just about anybody. When Larry Kim was on Clubhouse, he was asking me all these basic questions about Clubhouse. He had like 20 followers or something like that. I'm like, wow, how does Larry Kim have only 20 followers on Clubhouse? It's because the platform's brand new, right? And so if you become follower number 21 of Larry Kim, he's going to notice that, right? Because it's so, uh, Josh, how many followers do you have? On I don't even know. Let me see. Not, probably not a lot, right? But I haven't done much with it. Here's my buddy, Gary Henderson. Gary Henderson runs digitalmarketing.org. The guy is a, a big deal. And here, he and I are having a chat here. I've never met the guy until just a week ago, but he was moderating this big room in Clubhouse. And somebody asked a question about SEO, which then he said, oh, Dennis Hughes in the room. He was an engineer at a search engine, he could probably answer that question about SEO. So he brings me up and I answer the question on the spot. I'm like, phew, thank goodness. It's a question I actually know the answer to, right? Instead of like, you don't want to be on the spot in front of like, you know, a whole bunch of people like, oh, oh, right? I don't know. I don't know the answer, right? <laughs> and because I shared my knowledge the best I could, because that you'll see the platform encourages that because it's audio only. I like to say I have a face made for radio, right? Because it's just audio. I'm literally sitting there in my comfy place and I'm talking on the phone like this, right? And I'm sharing my knowledge with answering this person's SEO question, right? And he said, this is so, remember, remember this is a guy that I've never met before. And, and he said, that, that was so awesome. I want to have you on my podcast. So then we, we were, I was on his podcast a couple of days ago, and now I'm writing on digitalmarketing.org, which I think is like a DR52 website. So it's pretty high in terms of SEO power. And I've been writing blog posts and just building these kinds of connections this has been happening left and right. It's almost like I don't even want to tell everybody 
because it's so good. It's like, I don't want them to even, I want them to think, oh, it's a waste of time and all that kind of stuff, right? It's the most amazing biz dev platform. It's like being able to keynote at a major conference when there are no major conferences occurring right now. So if you know how to speak, if you know how to build relationships, if you can share some kind of knowledge, then you're going to find that you're going to win. And if you're not a public speaker, if you don't speak as well as some, if you don't have deep, deep expertise like Josh Nelson does in so many different areas, then you can be a moderator and invite other people around a particular topic and then rely upon them to share their knowledge because this is so new. Most people don't even know that, you know, how to navigate. So the fact that I can help a Larry King or Larry, Larry Kim, sorry, Larry King passed away a couple of days ago. That's a different guy. Mm. The fact that I can help a Larry Kim, think about the people that you could help by getting onto the platform and helping do things like moderate rooms. There's a whole technique to how do you moderate a room before you let it go out of control. Just like, you know, Josh is managing a Zoom right here. There's a whole different way of managing a clubhouse room. But when you're sharing your knowledge and you make it very clear in your bio what you do, so you serve, you know, garage door repair people, like whatever your, your lawn care, I don't know, whatever the thing is that you do, that's like your niche agency. When you make it very clear, that's what you do. And you associate with other people in that niche. And you, you, there's no way this thing cannot be like, I've introduced dozens of people to this platform. And they said, Dennis, I, I, I spent three hours on Clubhouse yesterday. I didn't even have the time, but I just had to because it was so good. I couldn't leave. Okay. Right? I'm curious to see how many of you guys have felt that. For those of you that are on Clubhouse, has that been the case? Like type in the chat. I'm just curious to see. I'm always learning. I want to see like what's been your experience been. Are you, are you addicted says, to yes. Crash House? Dimitri says yes to. Um, Even oh, on Facebook. Or if you're watching Agri this replay. She's got here. three invites. If anybody's interested, I'm sure you'll get a lot of takes on that. Um, yeah. Dimitri spent two hours just today. Okay. Yeah. You'll find that you'll carve out time. So I talked to Stelzner, who's the one, he's the drug dealer that got me high. And he told me that he likes to spend time in the evenings or the weekends because then it doesn't take away from his work. So when you're running an agency, you don't want to do it during client hours. You don't want to do it during family time or other, you need to find like either, we did one Saturday morning, Stelzner and I and a few other people, it was 7 a.m. PST. So I, I didn't get enough sleep. But it's like, ah, I get to be on Clubhouse with Stelzner? Yeah, of course. Take it, right? right take it. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll find that that's what draws you in. When you ask other people, they'll, they'll say, yeah, I'm, I'm there because of the level of connections and I'm able to make. And it's not because of Clubhouse. It's because of the FOMO that draws in the A-list people, the people that you want to meet. Think about who, make a list if you haven't already of the people you want to meet. You'll find a lot of them on Clubhouse. And then that's what's going to keep you coming back where you're addicted to your phone, like, oh, so-and-so, like one of the people you really want to do a deal with or who I find the ones that are most valuable, which I think will be for you too, is everyone listening is let's say you want to dominate, you know, let, let's say um, a dentists, right? Your agency serves dentists. Well, you'll, ha you'll have dentists in the audience for sure, but who are the people that the dentists look up to? Like a Glenn Vaux. Right. Glenn Vo runs Nifty. He's a dentist, but he runs Nifty Thrifty, which has 30,000 dentists. And I invited Glenn Vo for, he's a friend of mine. I invited Glenn Vo to Clubhouse because he didn't, he said, what's this Clubhouse thing? And I'll say, I'll, I'll show you, Glenn. Here, let's go through together. Let's make a room together. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to show you the different features. And now I've got someone like Glenn Vo who's sharing Clubhouse together with me to his audience of dentists. So if I, if I have a dent, I don't. But if I had a dental agency, then I would want to have someone like Glenn Vole in my corner because then he's got his audience of thousands of dentists. So who, for you guys, who is it that you want to be able to reach that is a lighthouse for all the other people in the niche that you serve? If you can determine who those people are and you see them on Clubhouse and the odds are they have 20 followers and you start making friends with them, think about how incredible that is. That's like them going to a conference and there's no one around them and you can go up to them and spend time with them. That's the way I think about Clubhouse, right? Oh, there's Ed. We had dinner with Ed last night. Fantastic. We at, at Shilla. It's this amazing Korean barbecue. It's like imagine you could you could spend time with Ed who's who's super super successful and there's no one else around and you can have a a close relationship with him. That's how I view Clubhouse, right? Are you guys seeing the same thing? Cuz I see the same experience. I just want everyone else to see that this is this is what the situation is just for our friends of Josh Nelson, just for our seven figure agency people. 
I'm going to tell you what this is all about and, and how to do it. So the thing is, you have to be super clear on who your agency serves. If you're serving everybody, you're going to find Clubhouse will just be a big distraction for you. Suck you right? in, suck you in yeah. deep, right? With no, with no direction. Yeah, because you're going to find, oh, this guy's interesting, this girl's interested in this, and then you're like, oh, this person's famous, and oh, I get to chat with this person, but then it'll just it'll just explode you into a bunch of random directions. So, if you're following Josh Nelson's protocol of you choose the one vertical and you focus on that and you figure out who the people are that are influential. Clubhouse is a multiplier of what you're doing, right? But if your stuff is disorganized, you're going to multiply chaos. It is invite only. They used to give you only three invites. And then as people accepted the invites, they would give you more. They've increased it, I think, to five. So if you look at mine, so you can see this is my screen. And I go to the top, the little envelope thing. That's my invites. And you can see that I have, I have four invites left because I just gave one away. And if you scroll through, here, here's something to understand about Clubhouse. If you understand this, one thing I'm going to show you, you're going to understand that the algorithm and dynamic behind Clubhouse, okay? So now look here and you see the list of these people where it says invite, 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 the, the blue button here. So the number one person who's not here anymore, but was, it was Jake Paul, right? We had 454 mutual friends in common. Here's Stuart Rogers, 140 eight friends, look, John Lee's pinging me into a room. I'd love to join that, but we're, we're here with you, Josh. John <laughs> Lee is one of these big motive. Look, now he's, he's messaging me. He's literally, look, I just got a message right now from John Lee. John mm -hmm. Lee is the, the big public speaker guy who's like Tony Robbins and these sorts of people. Right? Literally, he just sent me a tech, text message and it said just right, literally right now, couldn't even afford, uh, fake it. You should join this entrepreneur secrets room. I'm talking with JT Fox, Matt Andrews, and the JV expert about marketing and branding. So this is a text message it sent me. Mm. You see that? Mm -hmm. And if I click on that, that'll bring me into the clubhouse room. And the funny thing is like, yeah, here he is. He sent me another one. You should join this room. You should join me on that room. This is in text message. So he can ping me into, my, into a room, not just from the notifications in the app, like you see here with these green things like this one, He's trying to ping me into the room, but they can text you. But anyway, let, let me go back to the, the point I was making here. Look at who some of these, you probably know who some of these people are. AJ Wilcox, who's the LinkedIn ads guy. Vivek Bhargava, who's, who has the number one agency in India. He has the largest agency in India, hmm. digital agency, right? He just sold for some stupid amount of money that I'm not allowed to tell you how much he sold for. But you, he's important. But you can see like here's Heather Dobson. She ran social media for GoDaddy. Stuart Queeley, I don't want to name drop, but you can see, you can see right here, Jillian Music, co-founder of SEO Moz, right? You can see who these people are. So I have thousands of people in my contacts list. So what, what do you think governs the order of who shows up here in my, of who to invite? Because I only have four invites. What do you think governs that order? Is it how many friends they have uh, that are in common to you? You would think it'd be that. That's close. What is it? But there's some of these people that have more friends in common with me on Facebook and these other places. This is the thing. Yeah, Craig is correct. It's the number of mutual friends we have together on Clubhouse mm. sorted by. So the reason Jake Paul was at the top is that we have 454 mutual friends who are on Clubhouse. Mm. So you, I want you to understand why just for a moment, algorithmically, this is so important. It started out as invite only intentionally to be able to maximize the power of FOMO and the power of that mutual shared audience. So when it started with A-list technology people, so when a Mark Cuban jumps in or a famous politician jumps in or a well-known Hollywood actor jumps in, everyone wants to be in those rooms. And because that content expires, the instant it comes off of your lips, it then causes people to want to be in that room and they missed out. So then everyone else wants to get invited. So it's going by relationship power on the sorting here. And because there's a limited number of invites, you have to be really choosy. So then it seems like this really, really special thing because I've only got three invites, right? So you'll see people will say here, like Steve would appreciate an invite from somebody if possible, right? So then everyone else wants to get in. And so it maximizes this whole thing about wanting to be on stage. So if you know how to speak on stage, as a moderator, not as a regular speaker, but as a moderator to be able to run the conversation 
and bring other people up and, and run people through an agenda and you know, bring speakers up and push them back down to the audience and so forth, you're gonna find that Clubhouse is incredible for you for building your agency, not just because you wanna, see, see, I did a room two weeks ago and I think I called it something ridiculous, like just for fun, because I didn't know. I called it like, you know, Dennis will answer your questions or something like that, right? And people were asking me questions about Facebook and Google, which is kind of nice. And of course, I made clear that I'm here to ask people or answer questions about Facebook and Google. But then like Dan Henry jumped into the room. I'm like, oh, cool, Dan Henry. You and I have gone back and forth about who's the best at Facebook ads, right? Because we, we've had some jabs, you know, Dan Henry, right? We go back and forth. And I started asking him some questions. And it wasn't, it, I had no particular agenda, but 90 minutes later, where Dan and Henry are going back and forth in front of 200 some people in the room, I thought, wow, this is really kind of cool because everyone wants to hear what Dan Henry and I are saying about how do you sell seven figure kind of courses, right? How do you do high ticket? How do you bring people to a mastermind? How do you hire a sales team? How do you optimize Facebook ads? And then he and I had a fun little debate where he was, I was saying, okay, here's some technical things we need to know about iOS 14 and about, you know, getting banned and about these other things. And he says, you know, I don't even know how to do any of that stuff and I don't care because I care about strategy and this is the way I organize. My campaigns are really simple. If you were to look at my campaigns, you would think that I've only been working with Facebook for you know a day or two, but these are ads where I'm spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a week. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So he's just dropping knowledge. I'm asking him questions and then other people at that level come in and you'll, that's the thing that will hook you on Clubhouse is when you have a conversation like that. And you'll find that if you get into Clubhouse now because it's so early, you're gonna have those experiences. I think in six months, the market is gonna ruin the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Just like Instagram was amazing when it first launched and then a year later, the market has ended up ruining the thing. You know, Facebook was amazing back in 2007. It was great for a few years and then marketers came in and ruined everything, right? So <laughs> that's what I think, just jump on Clubhouse. Uh, Larry Kim and I, we've been chatting like crazy. Here, I'll just show you, just to show you that, that I'm not making this up. And Larry Kim's a guy who has, you know, his time's important and all that, but we were up till yesterday till 2.30 Pacific time, AM. Sheesh. So 5.30 Boston, his time. And look at the, look at our chat. It goes, it's a mile long and we're talking about Clubhouse. And I thought it was so cool that, that Larry was there that I posted because I said, hey, I'm interviewing Larry Kim on Clubhouse. Now, this is a chat, this is a screenshot he just sent me. And so what I said to him was, yeah, yeah, Larry, Larry said, wait, can you read this? this yeah, wow, that was fun. We'll try to do it again next week. Thanks to everyone who joined. And then what did, what did I say and what did he say? So he said, you were amazing. For those who didn't make it, you get another chance next week to learn and ask questions. Yeah. And then and down then here, Dennis, your Facebook secrets were amazing. So you're creating social proof and all, all kinds of authority in the process. Yeah. So you see what Josh is doing here? He's interviewing me. And you guys have seen Josh interview other people every week. I don't even know how you do it, Josh, right? You're, <laughs> you're just so good at it, probably because you've done it so many times. But you see how Josh interviews other people? That's literally what I did with Larry Kim. And it was so easy because all I had to do was say is, hey, would you like to learn some secrets from the guy who had 2% of Google's ad spend, who started an agency that has scaled up to you know, 600 people. He sold it for $150 million cash. He's here to answer your questions about anything related to digital marketing, right? We are so honored to have Larry here. And then I'll say, hey, raise your hand if you've heard of Larry Kim and everyone raises their hand in the room, right? Because all they can do in the audience is raise their hand or not raise their hand. There's no commenting or chatting or messaging or anything like that, right? And then I'm there, I'm there just moderating as these people come up saying, oh, I have a startup and I'm trying to do this. Or, hey, Larry, what would you advise if in this situation? I'm doing e-commerce or cannabis or whatever. What do I do? And it's all the common questions we see all the time, right? And I'm just moderating people. And next up, we have Alexandra Hazeltine. Alexandra, what's your question, right? Oh, thank you so much. Did they answer your question? Yes, it did. Oh, next up, we have Antonio Castillo. Antonio, what's your question, right? So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just bringing people back and forth inside the room. And because... We've got Larry Kim in there, right? And everybody's like, oh, wow, it's freaking Larry Kim, right? It's amazing. And then Kurt Walker joins and these other people I know. And I'll say, oh, wow, and what a special guest. We have Kurt Walker who just joined our room. Kurt, tell everybody who you are, right? 
and he, he goes on you know about how many billions of dollars of financing he's done blah 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 and as he's doing it here's the thing i also want you to understand as he's doing it he's saying good things about me like oh yeah i've known dennis for a few years and blah 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 amazing things about dennis and i'll say blah 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 amazing things about kurt and this is in front of hundreds of people right isn't that the kind of thing you want that kind of social validation and then that carries over into this thing that just happened yesterday where Larry Kim and I are going back and forth and he thought this screenshot was so amazing. You know, he took a screenshot of our chat and circled it. That's him doing that. He took the screenshot and shared it. And so we're going, look at this. We're going on and on talking about Clubhouse. And if anyone's watching this on the replay, maybe you could pause it slowly. You could read our entire chat, but you can see this. Larry Kim is saying, this is, if I can't find it, this, this thing goes on and on and on. But basically Larry says, this is where he wants to go all in. Because the live audio of building connections causes people to want to cross endorse and say super positive things about other speakers because it is a stage, right? This is the stage that everyone wants to be on because you can't right now because of COVID on the big stages. So this is the way to build your brand and authority and connections at a level you've never, you've never had before. In the last two weeks, I built more connections in the last five years hmm. and I'm well connected, right? This is where you can reach anybody. And I'd love to know in the audience, just let me know in the chat, do you have a list of the people that you'd like to meet? And if not, like, why not? Or who is it that you want to meet? Let me know, right? Or on Facebook, let me know in the chat. Because if you know, if you know who it is, you will find those people here on Clubhouse. They will connect with you and you'll say, dang, when I was on with Josh Nelson and Dennis Yu talking about Clubhouse that one day, that changed my life. That changed my agency. I'd love to see do you guys have that? Do you know who your lighthouse is? Do you know who the people are that you want to meet? Because if you don't, don't get on Clubhouse. It's going to be a waste of your time. So, I mean, this is great stuff. So practically speaking, we're talking about Clubhouse, the app for social media app where you can join by invitation only. So the first hurdle you got to figure out is how do you get invited, right? Let somebody know, let the group know, hey, I want to get invited. Um, eventually you'll get invited. You have to be on iPhone. Eventually it's going to come out on Android. Um, Practically speaking, it sounds like your best play is to go on and become for like, what do you consider a connection on clubhouse? Is it a friend? Is it a connection? What is it, Dennis? A, a connection here. This is your profile on clubhouse, Mr. Josh. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> You've not filled out your profile. You've got to say a lot more. Yeah. Your I've got profile. a very basic profile. But look, if you want, let's say that you want to get help in growing your agency, or maybe, you know, you're, you're paying for the mastermind, but look, he has Josh Nelson as of today. January 26th has 72 followers. Josh Nelson has only 72 followers. Wow. Right. That's incredible. Oh, look, Angela Myers sent me a chat literally just this second. Let's see what she had to say. So Angela Myers is a big Ted talk educator kind of person. She literally said this. I've not even read, I'm reading this live to you. She sent this just now. She said, hello, my friend. I held my first clubhouse room yesterday and it was awesome. It makes me more excited about Thursday, blah, 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 blah. Should we set up a Facebook group? And this is someone who is a well-known speaker, educator, millions of followers. She, she said this just now about her experience with Clubhouse. I could not have made this up, right? There really is this FOMO land grab. You just need to blindly get on there because everyone's doing it. So you need to just forget any kind of logic, just jump in there. Like, I'm not saying that, right? But I am saying there is something here you don't want to miss out. And this is what Michael Stelzner told me. I'm like, ah, I don't have time for that. That's just another social network, right? But this, I want you guys to understand what it is that makes Clubhouse so attractive. It's because you're meeting people like this. Amen. Is anyone here, uh, you know, whether it, you're on the replay or you're watching live together with me and Josh right now, right, on Zoom or on Facebook, is anyone here a doubter of Clubhouse? I'd love to hear in the comments why you think that might be, or you're, you're drinking Kool-Aid. If you believe in the Kool-Aid, say Kool-Aid, right? But I wanna, I wanna know, cause I was very much cynical about this whole thing where I don't have time and it doesn't you know, make sense or will not. I wanna know what you guys think. Or you know, it's gonna die in six Tim months. Tim says, I, I think, yes, I think it's a huge <laughs> distraction based on my three weeks of use, Tim Berry. Yeah, it is a distraction, Tim, if you don't know who you wanna reach. So you absolutely, just like Facebook, just like you could say Facebook or YouTube, or whatever, those are all a waste of time. Yeah, they are. If you don't have clear direction of who you want to meet. So if you're clear on that lighthouse, you're clear on who you want to meet. That's, 
that this is going to be amazing. But even I get distracted too, because I'm like, okay, you ever go to Costco and you're like, I just need to buy these two things. And then by the time you leave, your, your cart's full of like, oh, but I want th these, you know, I want all these other things. So it's no the doubt. same thing with Clubhouse, right? All the amazing things are in there, just be, but make sure, okay, I'm going there just to get the meat and I need to get some croissants. I'm not going to stop and get any of these other cookies. I'm just going to get the thing that I want. That's how Clubhouse is. Love it. It sounds like the st strategy once you're in is go follow the people in your niche, the people that have influence within yeah. your niche. And from a JV perspective, you know, maybe find the big joint venture, the big coach, the big consultant in your space that has all your clients that isn't even on yeah. yet and introduce them to the concept and show them how to use it. Then it sounds like that would be yeah. like the, a great foray to leverage this and help Absolutely. them grow their platform. Get on there, start looking for people that you know and follow them join some of the rooms initially just to hear how the dynamic works. See how the rooms work. Cause you, what you don't want to do is you ever go to a conference and there's somebody who just grabs the mic and they just talk, talk and talk. They're from the audience, but they, they would really like to be a speaker. Like don't be one of those sorts of people, right? right? Then those people hijack the rooms. But like Josh said, learn, like, who is it that you learn how this thing works? Who is it you want to follow? Pimp out your bio. So you have a good Instagram and Twitter and with your bio, be clear about who you serve. I serve lawn care companies and through digital marketing and I do PPC and SEO and all this and that and put in your website, put in all these different, even though you can't put in those as links, you can still type them out and then pimp out your Twitter and Instagram and of the social network that you have to pimp out the most to be successful in Clubhouse, which one is it? Do you know? No. It's your Instagram. Instagram, huh? Okay. When, when you're building connections on Clubhouse because it's live audio and there's no linking or messaging, then people will, if you say something good, people will like, oh, Josh Nelson just said something really cool. I think I'm going to follow him. Then they do, they click on your profile, they click follow, they scroll down. And then if they want to talk to you, they're going to DM you an Instagram. Mm. So, so it seems I, like that's the, that's the play. Get the Instagram's attention where on the Clubhouse. They'll go find you on Instagram and a two-way conversation sometimes will ensue. Yeah. Dimitri asked a question. My niche is med spas. Does it mean that I'll create a room for med spa specifically? Well, you could, but try different things that make it more inclusive to other people. So we've done stuff for chiropractors and we'll say, ask a chiropractor the question, right? So that'll, that'll attract chiropractors as well as people who have questions for chiropractors. Because if, if we created a room and the title was med spa owners only, you're gonna get like three people in the room. It's not gonna go very far, right? But if you make it broader, then you're more likely to get people who have audience, they have organizations that have med spa owners in them, right? So think one level above who directly you are serving in your niche. So you're serving med spas, but med spas will listen to Michael Stelsner about digital marketing, med spas who want to learn about Facebook or Google ads, they'll listen to Larry Kim, right? Think one level up of who has the authority that a med spa owner would want to listen to, right? So you're thinking one level of authority up. So you're playing chess multiple multiple steps ahead. That's the way to think about it. And I've done these groups with chiropractors. So you guys know that I'm part of an agency, Cairo Revenue, which Tristan runs. Tristan's actually behind me right now. You can see he's there. What's working. up, Tristan? Yep, there he is. He's got his hand up. I'm taking a nap, and, it looks like. Well, we've been working, right? We're, we're gonna, yeah, we've, a lot of people think all we do is hang out and have fun with important people, which we do, but we're working the whole time. Ed knows, right? We're hanging out with Ed till till late last night at a restaurant that's not even supposed to be open in California, but he has special connections that they opened a restaurant for us. But, but with the Cairo thing, we have, so Sean Dill is our lighthouse because he's a chiropractor. And he also happens to be the world's highly, most highly paid connected chiropractor. And he has a mastermind that 700 chiropractors are paying to be in. And he holds these events and whatnot. So he became an investor and Cairo Revenue, and he wanted to learn how to use Clubhouse. So he says, Dennis, this Clubhouse thing, how does it work? I'm like, I'm happy to show you. So we get him in the Clubhouse, pimp out his profile, pimp out his website. And then because Sean Dill is there, and then he invites his audience, all these chiropractors come in and that gets us more clients and connection and all this. And nowhere in the room ever are we selling our services. Saying, yep, we can do websites for chiropractors. Yes, we can do PPC and manage reviews and local listings and get you into the local three pack on. We never mention that. Instead, this is the thing I want you guys to understand so you don't make this mistake, especially for our seven figure agency people or on the way to seven figures is we're not selling. Do not sell 
in Clubhouse, please do not. But if someone asks you, you can say what you do, never sell, never have the topic of the room. I saw one of our chiropractor friends started a room and he didn't know any better, but he said how chiropractors can help people lose weight in 2021, right? No, no one's gonna join that room, right? Cause it's obvious. And, and then I went into the room just to see what he was doing. And he was going into a sales pitch. Like he was giving a PowerPoint presentation, but through audio, it was terrible, right? There was no so big, big tip there. I hope everyone got it. Like, like think about this with any of the content you put out, but you're not going into a clubhouse to go sell your thing. You're going in to give value. And when people are, receive value from you, they may or may not want to learn more about you and discover your services and, you know, potentially hire you, but no overt, like, Hey, here's what I do. Here's who I help. And here's what I charge type of stuff. Yeah. But the funny thing is that clubhouse is the best platform for selling. And if you know how to sell, and if you want to sell, it's fantastic. But the way you do it is through indirect selling because you let your audience do the selling for you. So when I created, when I did that clubhouse room with, with Larry Kim, nowhere in there did I did any, I did no bo boasting in that room. Instead, I boasted about how awesome Larry is. And then Andrea popped up and these other people popped up and I said, oh yeah, Andrea, she wrote the book, Facebook Ads Made Simple. And she's the best speaker for, for a social media examiner and social media marketing world. I've known her for years. I went and I interviewed her. I flew all the way out to, to Boulder to go see her for us to drink tea and talk about her book on, on what are the most common mistakes that people make in Facebook ads. And she's so awesome. I'm so honored to have her here, right? So I'm, I'm always uplifting the other people. I never talk about myself. I'm always uplifting the other people. And then what do you think Andrea says about me live in front of all these people? How what do you great think Larry you are Kim, and what a great person you are and how helpful yeah. you are. You guys see that? I want you to understand that dynamic because if you don't understand that dynamic, Clubhouse is not going to be of maximum power for you, okay? So, the, so find ways that you can uplift other people who are in the room, who are speaking or other people in the audience. If you get a chance to speak, you can say, oh, I noticed that Josh Nelson is the audience and he runs seven figure agency. I've learned so much from his program because it's so well structured. I go to these different webinars and whatnot. He's amazing. You should invite him as a speaker, right? Or just say something, never, don't talk about you. Talk about them and watch what happens with the reciprocation. I have been showered with the amount of praise that would just make me blush by being on Clubhouse because I've learned the hard way as a moderator to constantly be saying good things, not in a fake praise kind of way, right? So do this on Clubhouse. And the reason why it works is that if you're a stage speaker, then you know the key is that I need to talk about Don Franklin and how awesome he is and how I like that, that blue shirt that he has in his beard, right? And whatever he's drinking, which looks like it's water. But <laughs> the good thing is that you're, you're gonna say good things about other people and you're gonna make them smile. And then it's on stage, right? Hey, Brian, good to see you here, right? I wanna see you guys learn the, the art of saying thank you in, in front of a bunch of other people. And if you know how to do that and learn how people like Gary Henderson and Kurt Walker and me are moderating these rooms, then I think if you put two hours a week in the clubhouse, you will find that it's time well spent. But just like ice cream, it's not like saying, okay, clubhouse, I don't want to spend, I can't have any, no, or, no it's like with the ice cream, you're going to limit your, you're going to, you know, have discipline. Maybe you have only one scoop, but it doesn't mean you eat the whole tub tonight, right? So clubhouse is something that can be incredible for you. Just watch your time. And look, even as we're talking right now, as proof, I'm not just telling you from like, I'm not just like making stuff up because I heard these generalizations from other people. Literally, as I'm on Clubhouse, you can see what's occurring here. So I, I, can, I can see what, what's going on with Josh. For those of you that are just joining, you can see here that in these rooms, as these people are hanging out, because you're deciding which of these rooms do I want to be on, right? Oh, look, Tim Dunn just scheduled a, a towing digital thing. Look, there's a notification. By the way, you guys see, you guys know how, look, someone's just pinged me into a room. What is this? Tim Dunn started a new room towing in a digital world. Do I want to join him? No, because I'm with Josh Nelson and a lot of, all of our Josh friends right now, right? But look, here's my notifications. You see these two? This, this just happened right now, just two minutes ago, right? New people were nominated to join your club, YouTube Marketing Secrets. So I'm an admin right now. So I don't have time for that. So I click later. Then Michael Malaro just joined Clubhouse. So I'm going to click follow. I'm going to click the blue follow. Who's Michael Malaro? He runs digital marketing for Ashley Furniture, which is the largest chain of furniture. Folks in the way, it's 710 stores are bigger than Ikea, right? And I brought him on the stage and he knows who I am. He just joined Clubhouse. So if he just joined Clubhouse, what should you do? 
if one of your friends, you, you're on Clubhouse and you see, you get a notification that one of your friends just joined Clubhouse, what should you do? Follow them. If it's someone who's important, right? Someone you'd like as a client or someone who could be a figurehead to influence other people in your audience. So literally look, as we've been in this call together, look at the notifications that are coming through and look at the nature of these notifications. It's people that have joined my club. It's people, by the way, don't worry about creating a club unless you've run a room multiple times because they're gonna decline you, right? It's not one of those land grab kinds of things, but you'll see these people are pinging me to join their rooms and they schedule these rooms, right? This is the one John Lee just pinged me to join this room. And when you uplift other speakers and you learn the art of gratitude at scale in front of other people, and you join the rooms that these other people that you've said good things about, you, you, you join their room, they will put you on stage as a speaker, right? Why? Because they want you to say the thing that you just said again and again and again. So I say it all the time, right? So if I'm on Clubhouse and I see Josh Nelson, I'm going to bring him. I, someone else could be talking. It could be Russell Brunson could be talking in my room, but I'm going to bring Josh Nelson on. I'm going to say, hey, Russell, do you know Josh Nelson? He is incredible. He runs seven figure agency. You two definitely need to talk, right? And then I just brokered a connection between two people just like that, right? Do you guys see how this works? So nowhere in there did I say, I'm an amazing digital marketer and I, I'm a search engine engineer and I know all about how the algorithm works because I worked at the search engine. No, not once. I never say that, right? I let them, I'll let them say that. Do you guys see how this works? This is how you create value. So if, you, if you're good at cold calling and you're good at direct selling, that's great, but that's not going to work on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is one level up. So uh, pretend that you're the podcast interviewer, journalist, you're interviewing someone like a Josh Nelson, you're interviewing someone that people in your, so if you're serving the lawn care people, who do they respect? Now you're interviewing those people. So if you approach it from that dynamic, Clubhouse is going to be the most amazing biz dev opportunity you've ever seen. I, I want it. you guys to understand that. If you understand that, don't worry about the technical details of how you sign up and how you create rooms and how many lines your profile should be or you know that kind of stuff, right? Good what do you stuff. think about that? Wendy's asking, is it possible to get notifications about rooms or is that only dependent upon who you've followed? That's key on who you follow. Just like when you're on Facebook or Twitter, what you see in the feed or YouTube is dependent upon who you follow. So be very careful about who you follow. I think I follow too many people. I have 1600 people that I follow just because, you know, whatever, but uh, yeah, it's, it's key to follow them. And then here's the other thing is that don't just follow them on clubhouse, click on their profile and click on their Twitter. And here's something that I'll do. I'll do it live just to show you that I'm not just talking about it, but I actually do this thing. Okay. So if we go here to clubhouse, this is the hallway, which shows all the different rooms. Then we click on my profile in the top, right. And it shows that I have 5,400 followers and not that that matters, but let's click on that. And now these are all these people who have just followed me. You can see, cause it's light colored when, when I follow them, it's going to turn blue. So let's see Randy Renner, a founder of South Bay social digital strategy. So I just followed him. See that, but don't just do that. Cause you know, you'll hear someone speak. You're like, Oh, they said something interesting. I'll follow them. So now I clicked on Randy and here's his profile. And like most people, he has almost nothing there. What a shame. He missed, that's a lot of opportunity he's missing. Then you can see he has his Instagram, but he doesn't have his Twitter. What a shame. And he doesn't show strategically what he does. What does it say? It's his bio. It says founder, South Bay Social. So what? Digital strategist, creative lover, South Bay, Los Angeles. So what? Say what it is you do to provide value for other people, right? I help lawn care companies, you know, get better results on Google and collect review. Like whatever, what is it that you do? How can you provide value for other people, right? And then what is it that you want? So he should also say, I'm hiring for PPC people. I'm hiring for account managers. I'm hiring for, or I, I would like to, I'm looking to be connected to someone who can do such and such, who can like do what, like say, what is it you want, right? In your business, what do you want? So he missed that opportunity. But let's say that he did have it pimped out. So, because if he doesn't do it, I don't have a reason to connect with him. If I'm going from Clubhouse into his profile and then into his Instagram, the way to make that a smooth connection is, because Clubhouse is about sharing your knowledge and you're interviewing other people who share knowledge. It's like the ultimate podcasting. Larry Kim called it Podcast 2.0. Really, because if people are spending time on Clubhouse, that's time that's taken away from some, people don't have more time. So it has to come from somewhere. Where's it gonna come from? 
podcasting, mm. right? Businesses are spending more money on Google. Where is it coming from? Yellow pages. It's coming from somewhere, right? Yep. So this guy here, he's missed that opportunity to make it clear, you know, I'm, if I'm providing value and then I want to connect, connect with somebody and further. So then I, I'll click on him on his Instagram. So now I'm going to his Instagram and I might want to follow him here and send him a message saying, Hey, Josh, I loved what you said on Clubhouse about such and such, right? Here's, here's another example. Let's, let's just go to, this is one of my favorite tricks. So let's see. So Michael Malaro, you saw, I just followed him. So I click on his profile. Oh, he's got two followers, two followers. Amazing. What an amazing opportunity to build a connection when that guy is, is just there. But if I'm in a room and someone says something amazing, by the way, here's my, my favorite tip. I'll show you this. And I see here, I'll show you. So I'm, let's, I'm going to go to a room just to show you. Okay. So here, there, there's the hallway. Here's all these different rooms. And then if I pop into a room, let's call this one just, let's see. I'll go to the, the one at the top. The one at the top is usually the biggest room. Okay. So this is what I'm going to have to exit this room real quick because they're going to make me a moderator. Cause these people will see me like, Oh, Dennis is here. Well, that's like, Dennis, right? Boom. So, so why do, why would they want to make me a moderator? Cause it brings authority to the group. People will see Dennis is moderating that group and then gravitate to it. There's that. And also algorithmically, this causes other people. Then if I'm, if you're a, so it's one thing to join a room. It's another thing if you're a speaker or a moderator in the room, because then that sends notifications to all their people. So I have only 5,400 people that follow me, but then that sends notifications to all them. Like, oh, Dennis, you is speaking. You should come join this room. So this room right now has, I'll, sh I'll show you this just as a demonstration, has 1,700 people in it. Sheesh, right at this moment. This very second live, right? And John Lee ping me into the room. Watch, I'm going to click on this. And this puts me into the room. There it is. Right? You can see who the people are. And there's constantly someone speaking. Yeah. And the, the, the ones with the green dot by them, they're moderators. Right? And you see these people are talking about various things. And there's a lot of people that are speaking. Surprisingly, there's like 40 or 50 people. And you see them. I'm in the audience right now. So you see in the bottom is there's leave quietly. Then I can hit the plus. Plus means I can ping people into the room mm -hmm. and have them join. I can ping people who are not even on Clubhouse right now by sending a text message, as you saw, and then I can click raise hand, right? So that's what, so I can't speak right now because I'm the audience. So I need a mod to invite me to, to be a speaker, which will happen in a second, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to speak right now because I want to spend time with you guys. But you can see John is speaking. You see there's a gray, there's a gray circle around him. That mm -hmm. means he's speaking right now. So then I click on his profile and now it shows his profile as part of the room and it shows he's speaking and I take a screenshot, right? And see, I just took a screenshot here. Look, he's got 74,000 followers. So if he joins my room, what's gonna to happen to my room? All of those people up. will get an alert and jump gonna, into that room. It's gonna blow up. Now here's my little white hat, gray hat-ish trick, okay? So you saw I just took the screenshot. Now I go to Twitter. Okay, I have a, a blue check mark verified account. And then I'm gonna click, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say John Lee is incredible, is an incredible clubhouse, you know what? And and then this, then I'm gonna show the screenshot, right? That that's what I want you guys to understand is that yeah. So now I'm I'm honoring other people, right? So I if I click on his profile. Oh, anyway, you see what I'm doing here, right? I'm, I'm honoring other people. So find ways, find ways to, see, now I'm getting addicted to Clubhouse. Now I want to join mm -hmm. this other room here, but I'm, I, okay, I'm going to put, my, put my phone away. <laughs> but you see what I'm doing? So I'm continuing the conversation. So if someone's saying something good in a room, I'm going to screenshot that. And then I'm going to tag them on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, or I'll go to LinkedIn if it's really nice. And I'll say, I'll give their, their one sentence quote that, that the, the thing I thought they said was really awesome. I'll tag them in it, and then I'll show the screenshot of them speaking on Clubhouse. You see how now I've taken something that's happened there and brought it into another channel? That's how I build relationships over time, because otherwise the conversation goes away, people forget, you forget, and then you've lost that opportunity. And that's when Clubhouse becomes a waste of time. I love and it. I so, so, so a great play here in order to like kind of next level thing is 
get yourself set up, dial in your profile, add your links to your Twitter and your Instagram and, you know, good description about who you are, who you help and kind of what you want. Um, yeah. Start friending or connecting with the, the influencers in your space. Um, and then when they're in a room, take a screenshot, send them a PM of that on Facebook, on Twitter, on um, wherever publicly, and you're going to get their attention because no one else is going to put them up as like, hey, look, this person is leveraging this platform and doing something cool, um, yeah. probably. And so they'll know that you did that and you'll have their, their attention. You want to have my, I'm, I want to give you my very best tip on Clubhouse. For those of you guys that have been here and patient the whole time, you ready? Here we go. Yes. Because Clubhouse. Yes in comments. Hold on. Yes in comments. <laughs> yeah, let me know. This is best Clubhouse tip. All right, go. Okay. So Clubhouse doesn't have the ability to message or include links or this kind of thing, which causes people to say, yes, but why would I do this? Because it goes away. I need to you know, have landing pages and things like that. So this is what you need to do. When you're in a room and someone asks you, or you have an opportunity to share some kind of knowledge or, or you wanna generate leads, you say, hey, I would love to share with you my guide on how to do such and such. Or if you would like help, or let's say you don't have a lead magnet, but you wanna help anyway, say, send, I would love to help you on whatever the thing is that you said you wanna help on. Send an email to operations at blitzmetrics.com with the subject line, I love Josh Nelson. And say, give me the guide on how to start a seven figure agency or help me audit my SEO or do whatever it is. And this is what will kill it for you. I've gotten hundreds of leads in the last week just from this. And I'll show you an example. I was in the room with Gary Henderson and he had, there's only like 200 people in the room. and. He asked me to share some stuff and I did. And then at the end, he said, how do people find out more about you? And I said, well, this is live in a clubhouse room. And I had people say, I love, you know, send a message to operations at blitzmetrics.com and say, I love Gary Henderson as the subject. Here. So that's how I know. That's like the, the subject line is my landing page. You can track Not your email. source. You can track your source based on the subject line of all those emails, right? Now, look, I just did a search in my Gmail for I love Gary Henderson and look, Look at how many, I've gotten hundreds, hundreds of these. And these are all people. Now notice, am I the one who's following up on these? Am I replying to this? No, I didn't say send a message to, to Dennis at blitzmetrics.com, which is my email. I had him send to this other one. Oh, and if you don't want to do the operations one, a lot of friends, we set up this, we set up Stephanie at kyrarevenue.com, right? Mm. Stephanie at Blitz Gifts. And there's no Stephanie. It's just Stephanie. It's just like, sounds like the name of some like 20 year, two year old young girl who'd like do customer care. Right. And instead that the Stephanie is replying and they're saying, oh, I, so here it is. Right. This guy said, this guy said, I love Gary Henderson. Please give me the training on such and such. And then Stephanie or whoever replies saying, why well, I'd be happy to. And here, here it is, right. Here's the stuff. And I made you a login or I gave you, or I attached a PDF or whatever it is. And the other key is that here's, here's how this email piece is. This is the part to get right. Like this is the nuance that, that really makes all the difference. The difference between this and a landing page is that a human is responding and it's conversational commerce. So when they had to send an email, we're replying back as a human, not as a bot. So therefore, notice this first sentence. It says, hi, Luke. Wow, it's great to know you're able to bounce back at, on your business after the quarantine started. So genius. Well, that's not a very good example of a personalized response. But you'll see these other ones. Yeah, here's one. So this guy, Jason, he submitted, I love Gary Henderson. And then our person replied saying, happy new year. Thanks for bringing the idea of conscious collective capitalism, which is obviously, it's clearly personalized because it's referring to this guy's book, right? Re referring to their stuff. So every one of these replies, we have the VAs personalize the first sentence by looking at their Facebook or LinkedIn or whatnot, or tweet, you know, that, that. Mm. and you, do you see what I'm doing here? So the VA is personalizing that first sentence as a reply. Yeah. And now the, the reason why that works so well in Clubhouse is Clubhouse is conversation where people are adding value. It's not a landing page. It's not, here's my automated sequence. Because people say, why don't you just do this via chatbot? You can, but have at least one piece in there personalized so that they know a human was involved. And then you're going to not only be well known on Clubhouse, but you're able to build your business in a non douchey, look at me, buy from me, cold calling kind of way.
Yeah, no, no doubt. So Mark says he doesn't understand. So Mark, just imagine you've got a hundred people listening to what you're saying right now. Um, and you would look poor if you said, like, like it would look badly if you said, oh, go to DennisU.com slash opt in and I'll send you the thing, right? Because now you're, you're pushing them somewhere else. Yeah. If you say, just shoot an email to operations at mycompany.com with this subject line, you've just pushed them to a landing page, gotten a conversation started, gotten them into your database without like doing anything that whoever runs that group would feel like, well, hey, that's not acceptable. We shouldn't have done that. Like that's, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. And then instead of saying operations at, just say Stephanie or Christina at, you know, sevenfigureagency.com, like whatever that's where, but that's just a group email. There is no Christina or Stephanie. It's just some name that you put, but then all your people can reply as Stephanie. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. Well, th this has been great. There's been lots of good questions. Hopefully this kind of illuminated for you guys what Clubhouse is, kind of what the opportunity is, how to tap in. Um, Dennis, if they want to learn more about Clubhouse and or yeah. you and kind of how they can <laughs> learn more from you, what would be the best way to do that? Well, you should send an email to operations at blitzmetrics.com with the subject line, I love Josh Nelson. And in the body say Clubhouse training and I'll give you our Clubhouse training. How's that? That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. And now you've got to create a Clubhouse training to send out to everybody. <laughs> we actually have one. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That's, that's beautiful. So operations at blitzmetrics.com is where you want That's to right. send it. Yeah. I love Josh Nelson and uh, you'll get some really good Dennis's training is always amazing. Really good insights on how to plug into, into clubhouse. Um, any last remarks as we wrap up? I know you've been going and going and going. So you're yeah. going to take a little break. I want to see you guys succeed here in clubhouse or in growing your agency. I'm not here to sell you guys anything. So here's what I want you to do. Take action here. There's a lot of things that you could write down, but never do anything. Take action, document what's working, even if it's imperfect action, right? Done is better than perfect. And when you find that little things are working, it doesn't have to be some major win. I want you to take some screenshots of that. And I want to feature you on blitzmetrics.com or one of my sites. Blitzmetrics.com for your, the SEO people out there is a DR62, okay? That's higher than almost everyone's site here. Mm, no Why? Doubt. Because I've got links from major media and all that. I will build your SEO for you if you share things that you've learned, or it could even be from Josh Nelson. So you know, Josh Nelson is a is a longstanding player. He's demonstrated a history of being incredible. His system works. I happily endorse his book. I'm not being paid to endorse it, right? It's fantastic, right? He is the seven figure agency that leads by example. If you have a specific story about how you've you've applied things that you learned from Josh Nelson send it to me and I will post it and feature it on one of my sites and give you a do follow permanent link to your site in exchange for you providing gratitude to Josh Nelson. How's that? I don't get any kind of benefit. This is, to, this is because I have such gratitude for Josh Nelson and I want everybody who is struggling, who's trying to build their agency, but they, they don't know what they're doing. And look, I understand there's all kinds of problems and starting an agency, that's why you need Josh Nelson in Seven Figure Agency, because he has the solution. And if you don't follow what he's doing, you're going to make unnecessary mistakes and have pain. And I'm not being paid to say this. I want more people. I find it's a shame that there aren't a million people in your group, Josh, especially because of COVID. Think about the need for digital. All these local businesses, they're getting their asses handed to them because they, you know, they're getting shut down, their, their digital sucks, and they need more people who can serve them. And Josh is creating the, the army of people that are doing it right to drive real results. It's not just that you're getting clients, but you're driving results for those clients. And I want more people to know about that. So if you have stories like that, I want you to send them to operations at blitzmetrics.com and subject line, not just I love Josh Nelson, but I have a story about how Josh Nelson has helped my agency. Be specific about it. I want to see screenshots. I don't want to see generalizations like, Oh, well, Josh Nelson is really knowledgeable and I really like his training in seven figure agency. No, no, no. Specifically, this is what I did. This is the landing page. I, this is how I did my dream 100. This is how I set my goals. This is like, give me screenshots of these things. Give me specifics, right? Not generalizations, specific things you did with screenshots, the results, your Google analytics, your like something without revealing personal information or something like that, right? Give me that and I will put it on my site and I will give you link juice for days. That, that is how you're going to rank on keywords you want. For those of you that, that do SEO, you know how valuable that is. Powerful. 
no, no doubt. Powerful offer there. Um, if you've got something good to give Dennis, if you get a link, like he just said, it, it will blow up the authority on your site. So that's, that's an amazing opportunity. I hope some of you guys will take him up on that. Um, be sure to send an email to Dennis, get the clubhouse uh, training, follow Dennis on clubhouse. Once you're logged in, follow me on clubhouse. Once you're logged in, what's your, what's your handle? Is it at Dennis you yep, um, on is. pretty simple it's at Dennis you I'm easy to find. You can just Google me. See, I knew things were, were kind of dead when I was at Yahoo and people would say people on my team, engineers on my team would say, just Google it. I said, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem now, right? Yeah. So do the at Dennis you, if you're not in clubhouse, um, neither me or Dennis can just invite all of you. Obviously it's not as simple as that. Um, yeah. go into the local agency success, Facebook group. Um, it sounds like somebody has got some invites and is creating a, like an invite chain. Yeah. Ask there. I'm sure some people have some additional invites and might be able to hook you up. Um, yeah. also you have a Facebook group too, right? Dennis, where people can, can plug in. Yeah. We have the blitz metrics Academy. So that we're sharing all kinds of tips on the business of digital marketing. So not on the tactic pieces, but around hiring people, around how much to charge, around industry news. So you can just do a search on Facebook for Blitz Metrics Academy. Blitz Metrics, Blitz Metrics Academy to, to yeah. learn more there. Um, well, I, think, I think that's all the time we have for right now. Dennis, thank you so much thank for you. sharing. Um, enlightening as always. So really, really appreciate you taking the time. Be sure to thank Dennis. Everybody like a quick thank you or thumbs up at the camera and um, we'll keep the conversation going over in the, in the Facebook group. You guys are the best. Thanks Thank a lot. You, I really appreciate Thank you. Everybody. Bye guys.